Hello guys! Currently I'm on vacation in Sofia, Bulgaria, visiting some family. The past few days were pretty chill, the weather is nice. It is the perfect time to grab a coffee and work on the authentication flow for my app. If you don't know, this app will create healthy weekly meal plans based on the user's food preference, considering macronutrient goals. In the app I want to have only Google login for now. If the need arises, I will implement other providers too. For now I don't want to over-engineer the app, just keep it simple. For this I have previously set up an OAuth application in the Google console. It provided me with some credentials that I have to keep safe. I will quickly show you guys how the OAuth flow works. The user clicks on the login button in the application, it requests a token from Google, while the user have to give consent. Then Google returns an authorization code. The application can exchange this authorization code for access tokens. With those tokens the user info can be requested. You may have noticed, I've named the application GastroCaptain. More on that name later. For the authentication I am using a library called Lucia. Since I read the docs last time and tried the library, it went through some major changes. That means I need to update the library to the latest version. Basically Lucia version 2 was handling cookie creation, OO2 login, supporting a long list of providers like Google, Apple, Facebook and GitHub and also session handling. The author decided to split the library into three. Lucia stayed as a library for session handling. A new one was created called Arctic, an OO2 login provider library. And Oslo, a collection of OAuth related utilities, mainly cookie parsing and serialization. I understand why the library was split. Basically it was a natural evolution to separate concerns. But it makes it harder to use as you need to use three different libraries and read three different documentations. So I read the docs again to catch up with the changes. When I previously read it I found some mistakes and opened the PR with the fixes. Luckily I couldn't find any mistakes now. If you are reading some docs and find a spelling or grammar mistake, feel free to open a fixed PR as the author would most likely be grateful for your contribution. I really like how the docs contain a migration guide, that really helps me out a lot. To prepare the authentication I need to set up Lucia in the codebase. Based on the docs I need an adapter. I have a libsql database, so I need to use the appropriate adapter. The Lucia instance basically references the database scheme I set up previously. The example looks good enough, so let's grab that. Now I can set up Google as an OAuth provider. The Arctic library provides this functionality. I need to pass my secrets to it and my webhook, so it will be used by Google for a callback. I can start implementing the login endpoint. It's just basically a reuse of the example provided by Arctic. I need to generate a state and a code verifier. An authorization URL is being created and I'm interested in the profile and the email scopes. So I can get the information about the user, their email address, to have something to match if I will be using multiple providers in the future. I need to set the state and code verifier as two cookies so I can verify them in the callback. Finally let's redirect to the authorization URL. I just noticed that my phone is literally at 10% so I need to cut short the coding and explain it instead. As the first part is implemented I will show you now the callback. From the headers I need to get the state and code verifier cookies so I can check if they are matching the ones Google responded with. If that checks out Google returns with an access token that can be used to get the information about the user. Now that I have data about the user I have to persist it. It would be weird to create a new user every time. The logic is quite simple. Google returns a unique ID. I am checking in the user table that does a user exist with that ID or not. If it doesn't exist this is a registration and the new user needs to be created. A user to be considered logged in, session cookie needs to be sent back to the browser through the set cookie header so the browser will automatically send it with every request. It to work properly a middleware has to be implemented. Luckily Lucia provides this middleware for me so it's an easy copy paste. There are a few type errors that need to be fixed but they are minor. This middleware basically reads the cookies in the header, validates them and returns the user and the session objects for the app to use. The next step is to implement the sign out endpoint. It's fairly straightforward. If there's a session I have to invalidate it clear the session cookie and redirect the user back to the landing page. I think I've implemented everything. Let's take the application for a test run. For that I have a button that starts the authentication flow. It calls the login endpoint. Um, that's not what I was expecting. So I have this weird bug. When I get the old consent screen it works as expected. I can choose which user I want to proceed with but for some mysterious reason I am not logged in. If I refresh the site I'm still not logged in. Hold on. 
I found that if I open the app again, the login works. What? What am I missing? Let's sign out and sign in again. At least the sign out works as expected. Now for the second time the sign in works without any issues. Ok, that is very puzzling. What am I missing? The consent screen was not shown as I have previously logged in. My phone battery died, so my stay at the coffee shop was cut short. I had to head home to recharge it. Next time I should probably check the battery beforehand. At least I had some time to think about this bug in the meantime. This issue bothered me so much that I sat down this afternoon to debug. I found out that the cookie is being blocked by Chrome. Weird, but it has at least some info about it, so that's the culprit. But why doesn't it work when I refresh? I've googled a lot for a solution. After a while I found what was causing the issue. I was using same site strict instead of lex. It was working when I have previously logged in and it did not navigate the user away to the consent screen. When showing the consent screen it breaks the chain and marks the request as a cross site request. That can be fixed by setting the cookie to lex. Now that the app is working as intended I can have the joy of closing all these tabs. Ok, as the app has no CSS yet it looks kinda ugly, so let's fix that. There are so many implementations already for Google login with Tailwind CSS, so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Hmm, there are multiple variations of them. There is this flat looking one with the white logo. Oh, this colorful one that I like. Let's go with this one. I want to talk about the name of the app. I've named it Gastro Captain. The gastro side is pretty obvious. This application offers a gastronomical journey. We can eat nice and healthy foods. I regularly go to the gym, where the trainer is a very friendly fellow who is sharing knowledge about nutrition and food. He is an avid sailor, he often goes sailing, the captain part comes from this and it's a great expression of gratitude towards him. He is trying to help members to get in better shape. Also he is having a positive impact on my life. Now the app is quite simple, but starts to get into shape. I want to create some UI design for the landing page, but I feel I have made good progress for today. So that's gonna be for the next vlog. Right now I am very happy that I got the authentication working. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.